All right, first, your thoughts on the removal of SSS and GSI as a funding source for the um, Harlequin Investment Fund? I think the, our legislators missed the point mm -hmm. regarding the core problem of the Maharlika Fund. Even if we remove SSS, GSIS, and similar institutions from participation in the so-called fund and, and corporation, the problem of what really that fund is, is not addressed. Mm -hmm. There is a muddled concept. In fact, we have written about it. Uh, yesterday, we have issued a statement signed by faculty members from the UP School of Economics, from the UP College of Business Administration, and other UP departments, from the faculty members of Ateneo de Manila, and more especially from former cabinet secretaries, including NEDA director generals from Winnie Monsoy, mm -hmm to Shell Habito and uh, Ernie Pernia. The, the point here is these people do know that the problem is, first, we think that the conceptualization of the so-called Maharlika Fund is not consistent with what a sovereign wealth fund uh, should be. I, I can elaborate on mm, that later. Right. Okay. The, the second uh, uh, problem is that even, even if we get the concept right, we just don't have the right conditions, the enabling conditions to have such a fund. The reason there is it depends on the surplus that we have. And it has to be a very huge uh, surplus. Mm -hmm. And th the third point is this. Okay, assuming that the conditions are enabled, assuming that the conditions in the Philippines would allow such a sovereign wealth fund, then the institutions th and the governance of such fund should be sound. But in that bill, there are too many red flags, very controversial provisions, which are inconsistent with good institutions, good governance, prudential care, good oversight regulations. So this is how uh, we will summarize the problem. It, the withdrawal of uh, GSIS, or SSS from the fund does not cure the problems that I mentioned. Mm -hmm. And safe to say, from your point of view, it wouldn't be a prudent period, a prudent move to make to actually come up with a sovereign wealth fund at this stage. Yes. So the issue is not the concept of the sovereign wealth fund, but the Philippine concept is far from the essence of a sovereign wealth fund. Mm -hmm. What the bill is creating is another government-owned corporation or state-owned enterprise. And the purpose is not even clear. Will it invest the money for the long term? Or will it be using it for financing development? Actually, they can go together, but there is a tension be between the two. Uh, uh, for example, financing for uh, infrastructure, it is good for our long-term uh, prosperity, but it is not really about growing your money. Mm -hmm. The benefits, say, from infrastructure will be for the whole of society and not necessarily for the benefits of uh, those corporations that will be participating in the fund unless of course these corporations that you will set up will be mandated uh, to have that uh, kind of function but if you remove say sss uh, G, uh, gsis uh, from the, the corporation you now have a banco central left mm -hmm. there and i heard the news that 
the intention of the legislators and probably the executive is to use the foreign exchange reserves of the Banco Central. Conceptually, that is okay. But the question here is, do we have uh, enough foreign exchange uh, reserves? Mm -hmm. Yes, we have a comfortable level right now, but compared, for example, with the uh, foreign exchange reserves of the countries that do have sovereign wealth funds, our foreign exchange reserves would be still uh, insignificant. Actually, to be it, clear, at least uh, basing from... Based from uh, what we reported earlier, at least uh, Representative Kimbo did say that they are no longer going to use international reserves from the BSP. They did say that it's going to be a source from profits, but there are no clarity on that yet as well. But again, continue on, continue on what you were saying. What's your take here on at least tapping the profits here from the so BSP? So profits would refer to the dividends. Mm -hmm, right, exactly. The dividends of uh, the Banco Central. Central. And those dividends go to the national government. Mm -hmm. So in that case, it is the national government that can make deci the decision how to use or allocate the dividends. So you no longer need to involve a Banco Central there. Remember that we want an independent and credible a Banco Central. Mm -hmm. Involve Banco Central in this uh, a corporation, then it again creates the condition that will undermine the credibility and independence of the Banco Central. Does this also put into question their constitutional mandate if you are going to include them as a funding source for um, the Maharlika Investment Fund? What I know is that the charter of the Banco Central states that the, the BSB must be uh, independent. Mm. How? Now, I'm not saying that automatically because of uh, this bill or when passed the law would make the Banco Central beholden to the national government. But again, if you look at the design of the, the bill, it has many uh, controversial provisions. Mm -hmm. So it's better to keep out the Banco Central uh, from this fund. And I... I'm worried that the, the national government is intent in using the foreign exchange reserves. Mm -hmm. As I, I said, it's, it's now a question of whether it is uh, proper or and timely to use a foreign exchange reserves for this uh, sovereign for this Maharlika fund.